we are trying to figure out what threaded inserts work the best. And we have the brass threaded inserts. And we also have the, I can't see it through the wrapping, we have the kind of cast pot metal threaded inserts. The difference between the brass is they have full threads and the, the, there's no taper to the shank. It's a consistent diameter all the way down, whereas these cast kind of pot metal ones taper um, and they all don't have consistent threads. So here's where I want to mention the fail forward part. I was pretty set and I think Nick would echo my sentiment that all oh, the brass is better. It's stronger, bigger, thicker, but Here's all of our different testing that we've done here. And tell me a little bit, Nick, about what you guys did yesterday with the different hole sizes. Uh, we just tried to match the hole to the diameter um, and got the right appropriate drill bit and then uh, used either an Allen wrench or a screwdriver to put them in. And the screwdriver was a slotted screwdriver, hand that big screwdriver over here. And the issue that we came up with was they would slip out or it would, the hole would be too small. So the screwdriver would be wider than the hole. And so the issue is it, it would damage a finish panel or just the veneer in general. So that was a no-go. So the improvement I came up with today was to use uh, some jam nuts on a bolt and to do this, where you thread it on there, actually I have it upside down, but you would thread it on the bolt and then use a ratchet to drive it in the hole. The issue we're having is if you do it more than once, uh, in fact, that one worked really well. So. This brass one, surprisingly, has been inconsistent, but it it's, um, has a lot of threads in it, and it's a lot beefier. Um, we had issues with our later trials today where we tried to drive it in there, and it was so wedged, it was so wedged on the bolt that we couldn't get the two separated, and the insert started coming out with it. So from all of our testing, we've done this two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, plus two, four, six. We've done it six or 18 times. Um, reluctantly, I'm coming to the conclusion that the cast, uh, why don't you give me the Allen wrench, Nick, and we'll take this one out. The, I believe it's the standard, or is it metric? Okay. Uh, the cast one, in fact, we were, here's an example. Let me, I'm jumping back here. See this, this is solder that I put in between the two and I was trying to reduce the chance that um, the nut would get tight to the insert and let's see if we can take this apart. It actually did work in this case where that solder was a soft washer that compressed and it stopped this from getting stuck on here. Uh, but the issue is, is they just take a lot more force to drive in and I don't think it's worth, oh my gosh. We don't even have a big enough screwdriver to work with these almost. And for reference, I mean, this is a pretty large screwdriver. So what we've discovered is the brass is what? Less dependable, less consistent yeah. than the cast and we also determined that there's no need in our normal furniture building or furniture assembly that we would ever need the holding power of a 5 16th bolt. Um, the other downfall of this one was that uh, it needed, what, a 33 60 force? Yep. So I was telling Nick, I think most stores stock bits from a 16th to a half an inch in 64 thinkerments or 1,000 thinkerments. I don't think it's as common to get bits in 64th increments over half. So that complexity, we're gonna take that out of the equation. Um, grab the Allen wrench and let's take the big one out of the cast. And yet again, we use the kind of same logic to say, hey, the 5 16 bolt 
It's a big diameter bolt. It's not necessary. Um, so we're going to not use the cast one as well either. Um, so we're just eliminating, oops, we're just eliminating the 5 16 total out of our package. So then we're down to the quarter 20. That's the thread uh, size and pitch. And it's a little bit smaller than the half inch, obviously. So it can fit in any thickness of panel. Um, and ironically, right before we started recording this video, we did this test here and the brass one went into the hole that we'd already done three times before and it worked okay, but that's where we kind of come to the conclusion that it's probably inconsistent results. So um, the other thing is trying to remove these out of the hole, you're dependent on the slot, uh, whereas the Allen wrench is a little bit nicer. And so we're gonna remove these from our options and we're gonna be down to the last option, which is the quarter 20 thread cast pot metal insert. And I don't know if it's pot metal, that's just my guess. So that's what we're gonna be left with. And it's kind of a compromise of all the different options we have. So to recap, we've tried two different types in two different sizes. And we've come to the result that we're going to standardize one size, one type. And make it happen from there. So thanks for following along, guys. If you like these videos and these updates, we use them more for training so we know what we've tried and what we've failed on. But if you like these updates, hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time.